to another video. So in today's video, I am doing something different. I'm doing another journal with me, but I am going to do it digital style. So this has been going around the internet for a while now. Um, people have been doing a lot of bullet journaling. They have been doing bullet journaling, but in like their Chromebooks of so digital style. So that's really, really cool. Um, I'm not going to set up my, my monthly journal spread until the last day of this month. So the 30th. Um, but I am going to do a journal spread, but I'm going to do it in my Chromebook, which I'm super excited to use. Um, I can't wait to try it. Okay, so I just had to set you guys down for a moment. This is what I'm going to be using. This is my Chromebook. Um, this, I got it really cheap. Um, I think you guys can find this on Amazon if you want. I'm going to find the link and I'm going to leave it down below if you guys are interested in getting a Chromebook. Um, I got this really cheap for like $500 at the Apple store, but you can probably find it on Amazon like used and um, I'm going to find it for you guys like a really cheap one or something cheaper used um, and I'm going to leave the link down below if you guys are interested in that but I'm super excited to use it because this thing is super cool I do use this a lot for like my math notes and like to take any class notes I love it because you know it's like I don't have to take my journal and a pouch full of pens and washi tape because that's all in here so I'm going to show you guys what I do and I'm going to probably do a, pro a step by step or a process of how I'm going to do this journal spread I don't know because it depends on how long the video takes um, but this is super cool because you don't need highlighters you don't need colors because it's all in the Chromebook well there's a certain app I use but you can it's super cool you can circle certain things you can cut it out move it anywhere you want you can choose the thickness of the highlighter that you want to use you can um, save pictures put it in there so it's super cool and I can't wait to start and let's go so this is my Chromebook you guys yes it is dirty I used to have a cover for it but whatever so and the cool thing is that you can flip it it's like a computer also so it's a computer but you can also turn it into a tablet and it comes with a pen on the side and I love this thing I love how it's like it has multiple functions oh my god I can't even take this out okay so the app that I like to use is squid so it's really cool you can choose any kind of jerk any kind of um, sheet that you want so if you go tap to notes you can choose all of these so you have blank paper you have college ruled you have wide ruled you have weekly spreads you can do dots um, grids they have music note templates so this thing has a ton of stuff um, you do have to pay for it it I believe is a dollar a month so that'd be a 12 12 dollars a year but you can get it for ten dollars for the whole year so that's what I did obviously it's cheaper a um, dollar a month is nothing also but you know do you want to pay 12 or do you want to pay 10 I'm cheap like that um, so yeah I have a bunch of these templates ignore that um, okay so let's start I'm going to do I love when it comes to journaling I like to do dot grids so four inches five inches I'm probably not going to uh, take you on a process, so I'm just going to do what I'm going to do, and yeah.
Okay, you guys, I am done with my journal spread. It came out pretty good, actually. This was the first time, not the first time, I've done journal spreads on this, um, but just for fun. Um, I was just uh, having trouble deciding what to put where because I didn't have an idea of what I wanted this journal spread to look like. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so this is my journal spread, you guys. I did a Lana Del Rey theme. Okay, so like if you can see here, instead of using washi tape, since I can't, I decided to use the highlighter, and so I used the color pink, and so I used that as the washi tape. Um, here, I just added in a really bad drawing of Lana Del Rey just to fill up the space. Um, so these are just all the stickers that I use. So this I use like as like background. Um, I put in some photos like so and I put in some photos as like an overlay um, if you want to know how you can get pictures like this without like the background then you just put in Google um, transparent background and then whatever you want pasta Lana Del Rey whatever you want I'm um, here I put in washi tape and I just put in so I really love doing that whenever I use washi tape I really like um, writing something on it but since I can't do that with regular washi tape I was able to do it here since it was just highlighter so it came out really cute and so that's what I basically did here. I just have a quote. I hear, oh, what happened here? Here I have another quote. Here I have another picture of Lana Del Rey and I put this as like washi tape. I use the highlighter as if um, they were like stickers. So like I love doing that corner thing. It looks really cute. It looks like a real picture that I added. Um, and so, yeah, I am so sorry about my hair, you guys, but I am a total mess. Uh, it's raining, by the way. I love it when it rains. Uh, I didn't know if you could see very well the journal spread from the position that I was um, showing you guys. But here is, well, you can't even see it because of the ring light. Okay, I'm going to turn off the ring light for a moment, guys. This is my journal spread. And I really love the way journal spreads look in like a Chromebook, like the digital style, because it just looks very neat. I don't know. Um, but I really love this. I've been using my Chromebook a lot just for like school notes or doing journal spread because this is, I am trying to reduce the amount of paper that I use. So I'm trying to like cut back on journaling, like physical journaling. So I'm, I'm trying not to buy as many journals anymore um, because it is a waste of paper um, but I do love physical journaling but this is also a great alternative and it's super fun because you can take it anywhere if you're on campus you can journal um, if you're in the car you can journal it's super fun um, it's a an, an alternative to journaling because you still have the same options you can download all the pictures you want you can um, highlight you can add stickers you can do all that stuff you can cut paste it's it's super cool I love this and it's all just in one things so instead of taking your pouch with like a, a thousand pencils and pens and your glue stick because you need a glue and scissors because you need a cut you don't need to do that with this so this is why I love this so much I'm just telling you guys in case you I don't know in case you want a different way of journaling and you want to reduce the amount of paper that you use i don't know um but i'm going to be linking down a chromebook down in the description below if you guys are interested you don't have to you can continue journaling in your journals i know i do but this is um great for like when i'm on campus and i don't want to take a whole journaling supply thing um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and i will see you guys tomorrow bye